us to another episode on SUG12 exams. So this is uh, the third episode in a series of episodes where we are focusing on the 2020 Internal Science Paper 2. So in the previous episode we covered question e, B1. So let us look at B2. Elena carried out a chromatograph experiment to identify components of substance X. Water was used as a solvent. The results of the experiments are shown in the chromatogram below. So we have that a chromatogram as shown on the screen. Question A, which one of the unknown components A, B or C is insoluble in water? So if you look at what we've been given critically, A does not move. C moves from the starting line to this point. B also moves to this point. Then A does not move. So because A does not move, it is insoluble in water. So A is insoluble in water. Reason, this is because spotting A did not move from the starting line this shows that it is not soluble in water like that so if the spot does not move if it remains on the starting line then it is insoluble in that solvent used question b which of the unknown components was or were not contained in x so if you look at the unknown components we have a b and c so x you see this one so you note that b is the only one which moves up to the same line as where c is so b was contained in x but a which is insoluble in water and c they did not match with x but because a did not move while x moved it means a definitely did not contain x because x is soluble in water while a is not soluble but c is soluble but it did not contain c so the answers are a and c so it's a and c question c calculate the retention factor value for component b so how do you find the retention factor so the retention factor rf is given by distance moved by a given spot by spot then we divide by distance moved by the solvent so if you come here because we are looking for b so this is spot b what you would do is we come and see so the solvent has moved 28 while the solvent which is in this case x is 7 so what we need to do now is this is b b is reaching up to 7 this one so it will be this 28 minus this 7 then we'll be able to find this distance in which it has moved so it will be 28 minus 7 this will be 21 centimeter that's what b has moved then the solvent has moved a total distance of 28 centimeters so it's basically 
equal to 21 over 28 that's what we need to do so it's this distance divided by the total distance moved by this solvent from the start line up to this point so when you come here to be 28 8 into 21 so we're going to end up with 0 0.75 so 0 0.75 is the retention factor value once you do this you are good to go and you get that five marks so please pay attention to the principles that you need to use for you to get these questions collected so for more practice uh, questions please check out on our youtube channel thank you for watching this episode please join me in the next episode as i look at question b3